Okay, I'm here today with Dave Rickey, uh, a consultant with Brookside. I'm going to have him introduce himself and talk a little bit about his business and his aspects in Brookside. Dave, do you mind going ahead and talking? No, not at all. I do it for a living. <laughs> um, I'm Dave Rickey. I started with Brookside Laboratories in 1981, um, and I have... Uh, worked essentially between Ohio and the Rocky Mountains, um, mostly obviously in Indiana where I live, but I have a number of clients in the Southwest um, that I, and, and one of the things I wanted to point out to, to new consultants is uh, you, you have to make some sales calls to start with. If you're good at this, within about a year and a half, you won't have time to handle the referrals. Uh, and this is how my uh, consulting work kind of expanded into other areas. I work for a large lay farm uh, here in Indiana, and he was friends with one in Texas, guy ran one in Texas, and the guy in Texas called me and said, uh, you need to come down here and give us some help. Uh, and then from there, I, uh, and I also have a very good friend who's a large rancher in Oklahoma, and he put me onto two feedlots, a couple feedlots that needed some uh, waste management plans, which obviously have to do with the agronomy. Um, so that's where it went from there. But my main focus was uh, crop production and uh, and waste management, manure management. Uh, mm -hmm. It's probably in agriculture. Uh, the uh, there's probably more money wasted there than any place else, and, and it's not very difficult can get a livestock producer who also is the crop farmer to pay attention to you. You can save him an enormous amount of money. These guys will throw manure out like it's something they got to do. And then they'll turn around and put fertilizer on on top of that when they didn't need to do that. Um, and some of my happiest clients and my longest range clients are all livestock producers that have that either had access to a large amount of animal waste or they <laughs> their own operations created it anyway uh, that has it, it's worked very well for me uh, and also one other thing i've told a number of uh, guys that have started out in this that this uh, brookside philosophy of balance if uh, it works and if you don't think it works or you're not sure you give me a call because I've got clients that I've had for over 30 years and the uh, amount of uh, fertilizer they've spent, the kind of crops they've grown has all to do with that, uh, of the Brookside philosophy of balance. Now, that doesn't That's mean they've got balanced soils, but they're better than they used to be. <laughs> How the long have you Brookside been with balance, Brookside? The Brookside balance theory is kind of like horseshoes and hand grenades, uh, close <laughs> counts. So, uh, and you know, I can go on all morning. So, <laughs> tell me what else you are. Uh, how long have you been with Brookside, Dave? Thirty-seven years. Thirty-seven years. Wow, that's impressive. Mm -hmm. um, if there's one thing different in your business, what would you want to do? I would plan my retirement better. And, you know, I, I realized too late that I wasn't going to live forever. And uh, I did not make, and this is what I think is a tremendous uh, help with the peer groups they're establishing. And, and I think this, the, the mentoring program probably has the same, uh, or the, the mentoring program has the same, uh, same potential to, mm -hmm. uh, you know, think out years and years in advance and don't don't react to a situation, but plan on it in, yep. in your business development, that sort of thing. That's great advice. What is some advice you could offer some of the other consultants? So even if they're new consultants coming in or if they're older consultants who have been with us already. Some of the best advice I ever had about, uh, you know, yeah, we're consultants, but before we're consultants, we got to be salesmen first. And I had one of my many, many cousins who was a very successful realtor in South Carolina. 
And I met him at some family function and when I was first starting out with Brookside and I expressed to him that I had no sales experience mm -hmm. uh, and I was concerned about that. And he said, don't worry about it. So there's nothing to sales. The only two things you have to do is get up in the morning and take no for an answer and not let it destroy you. He said, if you need to make 10 sales, and your closing rate is 10% and you need to make a hundred calls. He said, it's just that simple. He was right. He's absolutely right. Yeah. Well, that's nice to know. So the, the point of this uh, questionnaire is for asking some of our older consultants is, is to kind of help some of our newer consultants be able to reach out to you um, and, and ask advice or ask your opinions on different things. Is there anything else that you would like uh, any of our consultants to know? Well, the other thing that you can count on, and one of the one of the comments I've always made when I was talking to a potential client, is that you didn't just you're not just hiring me; you're hiring 180 guys, and they're all over the world. And I don't know everything, but I know guys that know everything. So you ask me a question, I'll find somebody that knows the answer to it if I don't know it myself. And I've <laughs> used this system over and over again. This, yeah. this idea of Brookside Consulting sharing information is unique. And that's one of the reasons why we are thriving. Yeah. You form many connections, that's for sure. Yes, enormous. Uh, what actually made you become a consultant? I was involved in a very extensive farming operation, but I have four daughters, no sons. Mm -hmm. I had gone through two back operations and I was looking, I was facing a third one. Um, one of the, and this is get a little bit personal, but Valium was first, uh, developed as a muscle relaxer. Now people found out how, you know, how it smoothed out their brains. So they, could, <laughs> they took it for that. But there was a time when I, this was, again, we're going back to a, a lot of years ago. Um, and I was taking handfuls of Valium a day for muscle spasms and so forth. And, I browbeat the local pharmacist into renewing that prescription a dozen times. And finally he said, you got to go see your doctor, get a new one. I can't do this anymore. So I went to see my doctor and my doctor said, you're, this is nuts. He said, you're, you know, you're going to be in a wheelchair in five years. If you don't do something different, you can't live like this. So I kind of figured, well, let's find something that's not near as stressful as physically stressful as what I was doing. And that's, I, I was a Brookside client and okay. the, the consultant I had said, you got, you got a chance to do this. You're the kind of guy who needs to do this. Well, it worked out well, worked out very well. Well, that's great. We appreciate, we appreciate you taking the time, time to talk to us today and give us a little bit of background about yourself. Uh, we look forward to talking to you in the future and hopefully extending more knowledge out to new customers. Be my pleasure. All right. Thanks, Dave. You bet. Take care.